Hello, hello, hello again. I'm Janara. I'm with you with another video, guys. I'm in Cape Town. We am in vacation right now. I'm gonna make a series of vlogs. So first of all, today I decided to make a wine tour. Yeah, I'm gonna have a gourmet tour. I will testing wines from different wine yards. That was a dream for me. Today, with this bus, we'll go to a tram. Maybe it will take one hour to reach the tram. And from that, from tram, we will be hopping off and on between the one yards. It's gonna be an awesome experience, I believe. Let's see. All right, I'm really excited. I cannot stand here. I will go and sit, then we will start our journey. Wine tram travels between so many wine yards. For easy access, the winery is divided between various lines, like purple, orange, blue, etc. Each line contains sets of wine estate and trams commuting between them. We chose Burgundy line. Why? Maybe we just like the name of it. Probably before going to wine testing, it's better to learn about wineries you are interested in and according to that you can choose a line. But guys, there are more than 30 wineries, so there are no way to finish them all even for a week. So you can come back here many times and discover more and more wines. <laughs> Very funny, it's really nice. So we just started our tour, we are in the tram now. It's going very slow, very nostalgic, I love it. We skipped the first station because first station everyone just get off. We wanted to have a nice, you know, standalone experience, let's put that way. And now we are gonna get off from this station. Yeah, this is the train. This is the train that we are traveling, it's Hoponofov train. So basically once every hour they come here to pick you up. And meanwhile, you can enjoy the winery here for a an hour long. It's really good experience, very old fashioned train. And the stations are very close to each other. It's like five stations and after that, five bus stops. I'm in the first stop now. We will try some wines, but it's very early in the morning yet. I am not feeling all right to try many wines. This is a good place for breakfast, though I had my breakfast, but we will try to get some stuff, light stuff to eat. And meanwhile, maybe I can try a couple of wines because, you know, it's South Africa. When you have wine tasting, they literally pour a glass of wine almost. And therefore, you know, after a couple of tasting, you could feel a little bit drunk. So I would like to avoid that very early in the morning. At least I can enjoy the rest of today. Our first stop was Rede and Last Winery. It's fourth generation family owned and managed wine business. There we ordered 10 different wines to taste with cheese pairing. Total it cost approximately $10. The experience was really nice. They told us briefly about each wine we are gonna taste, but I am not a wine expert. I didn't memorize anything. Apart from wine, cheese and chocolate tasting, you can buy their branded wine and have a dinner. They even offer accommodation for deeper experience. Moreover, they even offer to host your wedding or any other event there. Since I'm not that successful when it comes to wine tasting, after a while, all wine tastes just mixed with each other. The guy just said that we will be there in three minutes. I hope, I hope they will come because they were just here. And I said, we would like to record a couple of shots. And he said, I'll be back in five minutes. Yes, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, that was our first stop. In the first stop, we have tried 10 wines and my cameraman has already got drunk. <laughs> it's a really good experience. I really loved it, but there is no way to try, you know, 50 wines. So in the next stop, we will just share four or five wines together not 10 each. And now we just tried wines with the cheese pears. Now in the second stop, we might try with the chocolate ones. There are two options, cheese and chocolates. Cheese we have tried, and now it's time to try chocolate. All right, guys, let's continue.
after cruising with the yachts, flying planes, driving cars, now it's time for me to use the train. Tram is my dream. I don't know though how to use this machine. Well, I am not feeling all right to try many wines. You could feel a little bit drunk. So I would like to avoid that very early in the morning. Now we are in the oldest and the largest winery that we are going to visit today, Boschendal. This place is very well famous. It's established as 1600s and it's very well known. We will try some nice wines here and also we would like to pair with chocolate. Largest winery, the oldest winery in this region is huge. It's big. Normally they gave us 40 minutes. I hope you can hear me because you know, you will see in the video the sounds of this, I don't know the name of this box. Normally they gave us 40 minutes, but this is Hop on Hop Off Tour. I can stay here a little bit longer. So what I have done, I decided to stay here a little bit longer, to spend here a more time because at the end of the day, you can walk next to the winery, there are nice animals there, you can see them. There is even a hotel. There are a lot to see here. And it's a nice display they have. For instance, Shiraz, you can see the origin, you can see the berry size, and when is it harvested. So based on this, you can see the different kind of grape and the fruits there. It goes all the way down, but it's there for just this place. And you can see the fruits even here. It's all different based on the, you know, type of the grape, they are sorted. So, but this is for display to show. It's very huge winery. There is a huge wine yard behind. This is just for display for us. And I can show you my chicken friends. <laughs> Here I am with you with the second wine testing tour. Now we try something different. The first round we go for cheese. Now we chose the chocolates. So each wine is paired with the set of chocolate. I'm the most excited about the third wine here because the guy just told me that there's a Turkish delight flavor. There's no way for me to understand, but I've never seen a wine with Turkish delight flavor. I hope it's then I'm gonna fall down. Yeah, those are the chocolates. And also chocolates are sorted based on the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So basically this chocolate will go for number one wine. In Boschendal, we decided to stay a little longer because they have huge beautiful territory with small wine yard for display and also animals. The wine prices are way cheaper than the rest of the world. Plus, South African wine is one of the best in the world. What an enjoyable experience. Since it's almost afternoon, the weather is getting warmer. So I am taking off my clothes, or maybe it's because of the wine. Now, we are heading to the third winery. After that, we will have the fourth and the final stop where we will have our lunch. Literally, each winery offers magnificent view. Look at those hills, greenery, trees, and on top of that, it's so quiet and peaceful there. It's definitely an unforgettable experience for me. Though I'm not a wine expert, I just like wines. The third stop was Bartini Wine Estate, relatively young winery established in 1912. 
The vines are planted to a height of 550 meters above sea level and with a slope as steep as 45 degrees. The vines have exceptional expression and character here. Apart from wine and magnificent view, they offer accommodation and even mountain bike trail. Imagine! Yes, guys, that concludes our third stop. That was amazing because it has amazing view. But to be honest, we tried four wines, two white, two red. I don't know, I'm lost already. And I start feeling the effect of alcohol as well. So I believe it's need, I need to stop because it's very cheap, very delicious. And you don't mind to spend money for that. And plus, you know, it's a heaven for grape and it's a heaven for wine. So this is an amazing opportunity to try hundreds of different wines. Today we can just try maybe 20, up to 20. But eventually, you know, at the end of this trip, when we go back to Dubai, I believe I will, I will, I believe I will, after this trip, when we go back to Dubai, I think total, I have tried, I will have tried maybe 40 different wines. That's what I'm aiming for, all right. Here I am with the last stop. It's gonna be the fourth for us and we will try some more wines here. I don't want to lose time. Let's get started guys, all right? Because we don't have time, because we had some little snacks there. I had nothing but wine in my stomach. So I wanted to have something else. All right, let's continue with the last tasting. Our last stop was wine estate called La Pommier. La Pommier meaning the apple tree in French. You will still find a couple of these apple trees. The history of this winery includes a list of owners since 1600s. Can you imagine? As you can see, all the wineries in this region has a rich history. This winery also provides venues for events and accommodation. Last wines of the day. White, rosé and red. And I don't want to see wine anymore today. That's enough. Now I'll try three of them. Then. I'll give my honest opinion about today. Yeah. This is very sharp. You, you feel it. No, oh, this is nice. Yes. The smell is not the best. However, taste is nice, delicious. Actually, by the end of our trip, we were so done with the wine that we didn't even think of buying bottles to take away. Actually, now I regret about it. However, we bought lots of bottles of different wines in a grocery store. By the way, in order to choose a wine with a nice rating, I used an app called Vivino. It really helps to choose a nice wine. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoy my wine tasting in Cape Town, South Africa. That's an amazing journey for me because I had been many places to try wine, but I never made a tour whole day to one place to another place uh, for wine tasting. That was really awesome for me. I've been testing many different uh, kinds of wines, different grapes and also different kinds of wines like, you know, golden, rosé wide red that concludes wine tasting video i hope you enjoyed it i love drinking and eating i'm i'm planning to record some more gourmet videos for you that's it for today let's see what's gonna be the next video until then please stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my channel like my videos and hit the bell button to get the notifications once i upload a new video thank you for watching see you in the next gourmet videos bye bye